Alright, so, before I begin, let me just say, I did not download this. I actually got the physical copy right here. Uh, it's, let me see, is the code, okay. It's right here, right there. Just now open it for the first time, I actually, uh, wow, there's even a, that's weird. What the heck is this? Uh... What?! Are you serious? Oh my god! They used... They used... They used this now. Like... This. As the thing that gives away the codes and stuff. Like, uh... Look, Club Nintendo. It's now the book cover or the uh, game cover for this. That's uh, that's a new one for me. Okay, um, but yeah, that's I was wondering what that was about because I'm seeing I'm seeing like Club Nintendo stuff on here, and it's like why is that? Yeah, apparently they put the Club Nintendo stuff now on the uh, cover itself, but um. A little advertisement for the channel, in case you don't know. Um, this channel will be doing, like, it will be putting up a few Super Smash Brothers uh, for the 3DS games, like, the day that it comes out. But then it's going to actually stream. Like, the videos that go up here will be, like, for the first time, will be uh, gameplay, and then after that I'm going to stream and put the videos that I stream up here. So that's just in case you want to know. So if you want to, like, say subscribe or something, I or follow my Twitch, which is always in the description below, I would do that. Now moving on, yes, uh, we got Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright, and we're not downloading it. No, no, no. Why would he? Why would we download something when we got the physical copy of the game? Which took me two hour, uh, over two hours to locate because I had to go to my Walmart. And th after them looking for an hour, which they were very friendly this time, and I appreciate that. Um, I called the one that's located usually 20 to 30 minutes, but because it's 1 o'clock in the morning by that time, hardly any traffic. took me 10 minutes to get to. <laughs> and then it took me another three minutes to pretty much three to five minutes to buy the game and be back in my car so that is why I like driving at night especially at midnight so now after that little story and that little setup let's begin the game because this has been one hell of a night <laughs> stereo mode okay also I don't know how this game's gonna go because it's already got voice acting, I believe, in it, so yeah. But this game has been highly recommended for the channel. Like, I've been getting people wanting me to do this game since March, when people were like, Can you do this game, Luke? And it's like, no, I can't do the game. It's out in Europe. How am I supposed to do it if I don't have a European uh, game? I got a, as I said, got a Japanese 3DS, but... It only has Japanese in it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that was it? I thought it was going to have a huge intro screen and stuff. Like, a huge intro mu movie. But okay. So... I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen in this game because the only the only things I know about are um, from Japanese trailers, and I've hardly seen any uh, English trailers or anything. I just know it's about witch hunting and stuff, and that Professor Layton is the guy that pretty much is the know-it-all, and Phoenix Wright is the dolt, but his side is really good, so let's... Uh, Let's go into it. I have never played a Professor Layton game at all, even though if you look, if you look, uh, 
in my home room. On my home uh, screen, I actually do own Miracle Mask, but that was because it came free, and I've never actually played it. <laughs> I've only opened it. I've never even, I think, accessed the game itself, so yeah. I've never played a Layton game. But I heard this is supposed to be a good... No, not love. Luke. Um, I heard this is supposed to be a good, like, introduction if no one's ever played a Professor Layton game. It, you won't get lost at all in it, so... Let's go! Yeah, I've hardly heard too much, like, about the story or anything, though. I'll let it play out. If I can find my camera off. <laughs> If anything happens to me, go and see this man. He should be able to help. Without me, quickly get going. What do we have here? I don't know, a car in a tree? Blazes, how on earth did a vehicle end up on top of that tree? I don't know. Was it magic? It's not like a witch. It, it's like a witch or someone something did it. Blimey, this is going to be a tough nut to crack. <laughs> Two lines in. There is one man I know who could get to the bottom of this. Gee, I wonder who. Not Did Phoenix Wright. Did you say witches, oh. Professor? That's right. People in the Middle Ages very much believed in their existence. That is the reason why they had witch trials. Do you see? Witch trials? <laughs> <gasps> Did witches really exist in those days? <laughs> well, my boy, witch trials certainly existed, although nobody ever truly used magic. Witches were nothing more than superstition and legend. Wow! 
look! It's really London! Come on, Nick, take a look! Hmm. I know you're excited, Maya, but can't a guy get a few last Z's in? This is no time to be sleeping. You won't win in an English court of law with that attitude. This trip is just an exchange visit courtesy of the Legal League of Attorneys. I won't be defending in court officially. Oh, well that's no fun. Mm. You know you're always at your best when working under pressure. But who can say how things would go over here? I wish you wouldn't talk like that. You only jinx the whole thing. The rain doesn't seem to want to stop. So... Luke's voice... Sounds perfect. Uh, Leighton's... Eh, yeah, I could say. Sounds good. Phoenix's... Okay. Maya... Like, oh my god! <laughs> I don't... I and Maya's voices... Ugh. But, okay. It's a bit unusual for this time of year, don't you think? Hmm, I agree, Luke. But I believe it is easing off a little now, so it should clear up soon. I hope it does clear up soon, especially the lightning. <laughs> afraid of lightning, I take it? Just because his name's Luke doesn't mean that I'm afraid of lightning. Of course not. I'm not a little kid, you know. Oh, really? I didn't notice. It's just that I hate how it flashes suddenly. It takes me by surprise. I think I would be more afraid of the part where you get struck by lightning than just the flashing light. But that's just me. Well, then, let's wait a little while for it to settle. So why did it go from voice acting to not voice acting just from that but whatever Luke I have just the thing to take your mind off it take a look at on the bookshelf the bookshelf what's on the bookshelf you'll know when you find it do you recall our method of investigation of course I do oh, oh I expected as much but just to be sure let's have a refresher Cheerio. We use a magnifying glass for investigation. This will appear automatically. Slide the stylus along the touch screen to move the magnifying glass around. The secret is to slide the stylus as if drawing a line. While moving the magnifying glass, it will sometimes appear orange. So whenever it appears orange, that means it'll check, right? When that hap this happens, give the touch screen a light tap. Doing so will investigate this point in question. In addition to important pu information, there are also puzzles and hit coins waiting for it to be found. Waiting to be found. Hit coins will become invaluable later on when tackling dif difficult puzzles. Okay, I do remember hearing about hint coins. And to not use them early on in the game because... Like he says, the puzzles will get more difficult, so, yeah. Okay, let's give it a try. Touch and slide on the touchscreen, then give it a light tap to investigate. This technique can be used to investigate points of interest, right? Now, let's investigate the bookshelf. Okay, um... How about I investigate... The sea set. Your tea is extraordinarily fragrant, Professor. Really? That's all you gotta say about that? 
It doesn't look as if the terrain will cease anytime soon. Anything else that's out of the ordinary? I wish you could use the touch screen to move instead of instead of the circle pad, but whatever. I wouldn't call it comfortable, but it will suffice for a quick nap. Ooh, this this sparkled. Does that mean it's new? Is that why? Oh, that's a hit point. That's why. Okay. Um. Anything else? Oh, nice. Give me another hint coin. Anything else? This picture? Give me that hint coin. Hmm. Anything else? I don't see anything, so... Yeah, let's just... Oh, okay. Isn't this a picture book? Wow, I wouldn't have expected t you to have a picture book for Professor. Wait a second. That's right, my boy. There's a puzzle hidden within the book. I should have known. You even have puzzles hidden in your books. All right then, Luke. Why not see if you can solve this one? Naturally. After all, I am your apprentice. All right, let's see here. Oh, I think I remember seeing a trailer of this. Path of Pairs. This puzzle is worth 20 out of 20 Pickerats. I've heard of gentleman points, but not Pickerats. Okay. A light witch and a dark witch are trying to fly back home to their castles. Each castle is colored to match each witch. Their way home is connected by a colorful path of light. Touching one of these paths will cause all of that color to disappear. Color! Spelt C-O-L-O-U-R. The English way. The, the British English way. <laughs> Help the witches find the right path to their respective castles by removing the unwanted paths. Touching a colorful path of light will remove all of the path... Well, wait. Will remove all of the paths for that specific color. Remember, the light witch lives in the white castle and the dark witch lives in the black path castle. The witches will travel on any colorful path they encounter as they fly up. Okay, so let's see here. Can I... Hmm. Let's see. Let's start removing things here. Go there. No? Shut up, game. Okay, so that will do that, that will do that. And that. Shut up, game! I'm doing a hint. I'm not doing no hints for this. I can do this. I can do this. Yeah, I can do this just fine. Ten minutes later. <laughs> I probably will just skip these so you all don't see me struggling or something. Shut up, game! I think that's it! Yeah! Okay. I feel smart. <laughs> this is my answer! This is my answer! Can you let me do the next one too? Oh yeah. I didn't need no stupid hints. Yeah, it's like, why is uh, 
the game telling me to do hints. I need I need a little bit of time to think, not just uh, to say, use the hint! Use that hint! Yes, use it! Use it! Like, after two, after one minute or something. Outstand, outstanding! Both witches managed to cross the colorful paths and find their way home. Well done, Luke. That was a piece of cake. I can solve harder puzzles than that. I'm pleased to hear that, Luke. It was a charming little puzzle, though, like straight out of a fairy tale. If only the witches of middle, the Middle Ages were as jolly as the ones in this picture book. Yes, indeed. Well, it looks as if the rain is about to stop. Shall we prepare to go home? Okay, Professor. Now, where did I put my umbrella? I say! Professor, I think we have a visitor. At this late hour? I can't say I've been expecting anybody. I'll go and see who it is. We know who it is. It's gonna be... Oh! It's gonna be her! Okay. It was either gonna be three people. Police? Her? Or Phoenix? But, yeah, well, Phoenix, not likely. <laughs> I can tell this person's from Phoenix Wright's uh, universe because of the sound that she makes. Are you... Mr. Herschel Layton? Yes, indeed I am. My dear young lady, how may I be of assistance? Yeah, you hear the ding ding ding, ding 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 ding. Now, hear hers. Yeah, that's definitely Phoenix Wright Universe uh, dots. Um, BBBs, or however it's called in Animal Crossing. <laughs> Um, I have been asked to give you a letter. Please, could you read this? This letter, it's from Carmine. Carmine? Who's Carmine? He was a student of mine a number of years ago. And I, if I recall correctly, he's now a detective. Wow, a detective? Um, about Carmine? Yes? I, um, well, I'm sorry. It appears there may be a matter of some considerable, considerable importance within this letter. Let's read it right away, Professor! Dear Professor, It has been... A long time. There is so much I would like to tell you, but at present I do not have the time. My life is in danger. I am being chased by something terrifying, and I am not sure whether I can escape. It all started in a town called Labyrinthia, a mysterious town, one that you will not find on any map. Sounds like it if it's called, like, Labyrinth. Yeah. I found myself there during the course of an investigation. While I was there, a series of unbelievable events occurred right before my eyes. I realized the town held a mysterious secret and decided to get to the bottom of it. But before I could, they found me. I escaped from Labyrinthia with a young woman by the name of Espella. It was my belief that she held the key to solving the secret of that town. It is not me they are pursuing, it is Espella. As such, I am asking you to help her. Labyrinthia hides an ominous mystery. This is one puzzle that appears to be beyond my powers to solve. I apologize for imposing on you in this way. Hmm. Your faithful student, Carmine Accidenti. Ooh. 
Letter from Carmine. Carmen. Added to items. Sorry, I... Yeah. <laughs> well, I never... Or, well, I never... P professor Am I right in assuming that you are the Espella to whom Carmen is referring? Y yes Yes, I am. Tell me, what on earth happened? I'm afraid I'm not entirely sure. It seemed as if we were being chased relentlessly. They caught up with us, and we were attacked. As a result, Carmen was injured. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. He bravely did his best to ensure that I escaped safely. I beg you, please help him. Please help that brave man. You mustn't worry about him, Espella. Knowing Carmen, as I do, I'm sure he'll be all right. But... Ever since I've known him, he's always been in some difficult situation or another. And he's never failed to win through. More importantly, at the moment, I'm frankly more concerned with your safety, Espella. You're concerned? About me? According to this letter, the one thereafter is you. Are you certain that you're alright? You weren't injured at all? Me? No, I... I'm fine, really. I think you better take a rest, even if just for a little while. Your clothes are all wet, too. I'll go and find you a dry towel. Thank you. You're really too kind. It's no trouble at all. As soon as you're more comfortable, we can sit down and talk. Professor? Or, professor? If what was written in that letter is true... Yes, indeed. It means this young lady is in real danger. And it also means that her pursuers might even come after, come to this office in search of her. I'll go and lock the doors. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. At any rate, we'll need to talk to Espella and find out what this is really all about. The Mysteries. Join Professor Layton and revisit some of the story's major mysteries. Touch of mystery to view it. The Strange Girl. A strangely dressed young girl suddenly appeared, asking Professor Layton for help. It would seem she is being pursued by someone or something. Es Espella appeared at my study, full of fear. I do not know if she is he or who she is or where she has come from, but I wish to help her. All right. <laughs>